Oh look, it's dark and stormy outside, just like the inside of my uterus. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to see you all, even though I can't physically see you. <laughs> I got a pimple, which really sucks. So I guess I'm trying the period diet. <laughs> This is more of a holistic approach to helping period symptoms. Um, I know that you know my family has a deep, rich history of having endometriosis. I have horrible mood swings, bad bloating, horrible cramps, and my periods are also really, really heavy. Recently, I got to go on a trip by P&G with a bunch of awesome women, and it was really cool to just all sit together and talk about being a girl. A gynecologist came in and answered all of our questions. I was really interested to know if there is a certain way that you can eat during your period to help reduce any sort of problems that you have during your cycle. And she actually said that there are a few do's and don'ts that can really aid in your period symptoms. And I wanna try that out. Another part of this holistic, fresh, clean approach is that um, Tampax actually gave me some of their, oh, okay. <laughs> Tampax actually gave me some of their new pure and clean products. And I learned when I was out there that you're really supposed to switch in between whatever products you use, even if you use a menstrual cup. So I have the pure and clean tampons which are open because I've already been needing to use them. Um, and the Always Pure and Clean pads, they're free of all dyes and fragrances. It is also very fresh looking. So these are available on Amazon. Here's what the pad looks like. So, okay. So it's very, you know, happy, clean, fresh, very millennial. So that will be a part of this journey as well and reviewing that, and I've always been a Tampax girl, always girl, so I was really honored to be out there. Um, but you can also learn more about that uh, across the street, screen here. Okay, so I did some research here, and the foods that I'm really supposed to stick with here are healthy fats, leafy green vegetables, whole grains, keep fruits, on hand for those sugary cravings. There's also an emphasis on dark chocolate. Like, we crave chocolate for a reason, people. And then the foods that I have to avoid, heavy fat proteins, anything fried, super salty, um, vegetables that cause gas and bloating, high sugar foods. I'm gonna try out a bunch of recipes that are really aimed towards helping PMS. Some people say do have caffeine because it'll keep your energy level up but others are saying avoid coffee at all costs. Got my tampons, got my pads, and I'm ready to go. So let's get going. All right, it's day one of my period. I hate everyone and everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here for a second. Cramps are coming in hot. I'm gonna try to make this PMS smoothie. It kinda sounds a little gross. Maybe it'll taste so bad that it'll make me forget that my insides are pushing themselves outside my body. So, uh, I just remembered I'm not supposed to have coffee. Um, you know what sucks is that these are all of my favorite things. Here's what I need to make this miraculous smoothie. I'm really not sure how it's gonna taste because I've got maca root, turmeric, carrots, and frozen pineapple and peaches. Y'all, I try not to be too negative about stuff. I'm a little worried about this, I'll be honest. It's not great. I'm getting bits of carrot in my mouth and I even tried to put them in a food processor to really blend them. I'm gonna try to drink it all for the sake of science and seeing if I feel better. Currently frying an egg for my dinners these next few days. Actually eggs were on the list 
of things you should eat. I got a nice fried egg here and a mix of veggies and lentils and different grains. And then you can't forget the guacamole, guacamole. My body is 100% ready for this. Okay, so I'm about to go get lunch with one of my friends. I will be getting the um, seared ahi tuna, which is actually really great and filling. It fills the requirements of being a lean meat. Um, and then I'm gonna have leafy greens. So I woke up, I didn't drink coffee, and my head was hurting. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just, what the hell? I'm just gonna have coffee. I'm cramping like a mofo right now. I don't know if it's a placebo thing or if caffeine really does make your muscles tighter and hurt, but uh, your girl's not feeling great. Eating some blue bees cause they're good for me and I love the blue. Okay, honestly though, it's day three and this weather's really bumming me out. It's just constantly just clouds. It's not raining, it's misting, but it's like, I need a little sunshine for my uterus, you know? Also, side note, with these pads and tampons, they don't have like a perfume. And I know some people like those, but I'm really not a fan. And these just feel like clean. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, it's fresh. Today I will be making another smoothie that I think will taste a lot better. Cheers, bottoms up. This already smells better. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god, my teeth are sensitive. Oh, I just made the ugliest face. I like this because the cocoa powder and the matcha go really well together. And sometimes maca powder has this really earthy, rooty taste, if that makes sense. It's pretty good. That was super easy to make. I would probably add a frozen banana just because it's so icy. So far, so good. So I've been looking up PMS recipes and there are actually a lot of like PMS barks and stuff that fit into your cravings, but it's like all things I can't, you're not supposed to have. I think one of the challenges I'm gonna do is a PMS bark that actually fits into the categories of helping you feel better. It looks like I got poop on my face, but I made them. They look great. My camera died halfway through making them. Essentially, it's just a giant antioxidant bomb, but also something that you can eat when you're craving something sweet that won't uh, increase those symptoms. So I really like them. I'm gonna wash my face. Welcome back. I am done. I am fresh and good to go, clean. Uh, I actually also redid my hair. This week, I feel like I did feel some sort of relief. A side note, the review on this, even though this is sponsored by Tampax, it's required that I say what I truly feel, and honestly, I really liked these. They were really great. I think that having this whole like clean experience was nice. Um, I didn't leak. And I usually 
leak uh, every week. So, I mean, every week. Oh my God. In terms of recipes, I highly do not recommend that first smoothie. <laughs> That was awful. I'm sorry to the person who made that. I did feel less bloating because I was drinking more water. I was eating less sodium, and so there wasn't as much bloating as normal. Um, but I also felt like I could sleep. I had a little melatonin gummy. I think that it was helpful. I still had those mornings, those days, where I just really was not feeling good. But by focusing on my diet and really eating food that was good for me and for my symptoms, I think there was some sort of difference. And I know obviously this is not a cure for something like endometriosis or PMDD, but if it helps with symptoms, that's one step in the right direction. This is not a diet to be skinny, to lose weight. This is when we say diet, it is just a way of eating and a way of focusing on foods to help you feel good and feel better. I wanna thank P&G for sponsoring this video for me and flying me out and teaching me so much about our periods. I know that it is, kind of awkward and embarrassing to talk about, but at the same time, I learned so much. I learned how people make tampons and pads, what they're made out of, you know, what kind of materials they're working towards for sustainability. I feel like sometimes we're too embarrassed to talk about our periods, but they're so important and they're a huge part of our lives, unfortunately. <laughs> I really hope you guys liked this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. I sprinkled in some facts throughout the whole video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe. Let me know below what you guys do for period relief. And um, yeah, don't forget to check out all the information in the description below about periods, PNG, the pads, the products. Um, if you're kind of looking for something else during your period, some more protection. Remember to stay happy and stay healthy. Okay. Bye.